Here's a groovy little chicken picking double stop lick in E inspired by Ray Flack. Ray Flack, like Albert Lee, is British-born guitarist who really made a name for himself in Nashville. He's best known as the guitar player for Ricky Skaggs on several of his albums in the 80s and 90s. Ray is a real powerhouse guitar player, plays with a lot of chicken picking style and a lot of double stops. And that's what we're going to focus on in this lick, how to get some really percussive double stops worked into this chicken picking style. We're in the key of E, we have a basic sort of rock rhythm going on here. So this gives us a chance to get really syncopated and really work this double stop in a rhythmic way. So we're starting in ninth position, first finger on the ninth fret, and this would be our E chord shape here. Um, we're gonna shift out of this position pretty quickly, but this is where we're starting. Um, and it begins, we're working these double stops. Okay, so that's your basically going up an E scale. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. The note of the scale with a third above it. So if you want to work this up and down, in a major scale it would be. We're probably going to flat that seventh to make the sound bluesy, so it's going to sound like. So this lick begins with this little percussive figure. Um, we're going to play the first finger on the D string here, uh, ninth fret, really quickly, just to kind of lift that double stop. So there's a pick here. And then the two fingers will play that double stop if you're playing hybrid style. If you're playing finger style, it'll be thumb and uh, first two fingers. Okay? So, here we go. And then we grab that next third and then slide it up a whole step. So that's the beginning. Okay? Then we have just a percussive little dead string with the pick. Then third and fourth fingers will play the 14th fret. Bend up and release, kind of by a half step. Then that percussive dead string again. And now I'll go back to second and third fingers to play this little chromatic uh, shift slide um, from the half step below back to this resolving note, uh, the third and the fifth of your E chord. So let's hear the beginning of that first measure in context. It'll go like this. Ready and a go and a one. Now that I'm in this position, I'm gonna use it to work a whole different set of double stops, uh, the grouping from the B to the high E string. Um, and that's going to actually work its way out of these larger chord shapes. First I'll review the double stops themselves. It's this. So that's kind of working your way up an E major scale with a flatted seventh. So like an E mixolydian mode. And we're going to do a real particular kind of percussive trick here, it's going to be... So I'm actually playing specific triads all the way down. I'm playing this for an E7. This is just moving down diatonically through the chord changes uh, in this key. Um, so this would be like an F-sharp minor. That's an E triad. That's a D triad. That's a C sharp minor. That's a B minor. That's 
was an A, and then we're back to E. So if you played those all the way down, that's just playing the scale in thirds, basically. Now I'm gonna roughly hold those shapes down, but the lower note, the G string note, doesn't really matter. That's gonna be a percussive kind of dead string thing. Okay, so I'm just kinda, I'm gonna play this note to begin with, then, and then hammer on that first fret on the G string for the E chord there. So the entire second measure, it has a little pickup note coming from the first measure, which sounds like this. Ready and uh, go. Now I'll play this entire example with the rhythm track. 